So continuing with the strong weak titration, what I've done is I've written out the work that was done for 10 milliliter. So I'll just put that there so it can focus for a moment and you can see it and check your own work. And I also did the work for 48 milliliters. So again, the same thing. So we figured out moles acid over total volume minus X here. This was going to be X. This was moles of the conjugate base over total volume plus X. Set it up as the equilibrium for salt for X. X works out to be the concentration of hydronium. And so that, take the negative log of that, it becomes 6.13. Okay. Now, we're going to do the equivalence point. Equivalence point is equivalence because what we've got is the equal amounts of acid and base. They both ended up at zero. Everything ended up in the conjugate. First thing I realized is that I can't use the reaction that I've been using, which was the acid plus water, because I don't have any of the acid. The only thing that I have present in solution that's interesting is the conjugate base. So I'm going to have to use that as my reactant. So I'm going to take my conjugate base, react it with the only other thing present, which is water. Base reacts with water, produces hydroxide, and we're going to create some HA in the process. Starting concentration here is going to be 0 0.0150 over 0 0.150. There's not going to be anything here, because I haven't got any of this yet, and I certainly don't have any of that. I used it all up. So these are both zeros which means the reaction has to run to the right. So this is going to be a minus x, that's going to be an x, that's going to be an x. So it works out to be x squared over 0 0.0150 over 0 0.150 minus x. And that's equal to, now here we have an issue. Because this is not a Ka. I can't use the same constant because it's a different reaction. I have to acknowledge that. So what this needs to be equal to is Kb. Now, if you look back when I first discussed the difference between strong and weak titrations, we calculated this value. It turns out that that value was 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10th. So I know that. If I didn't know that, I would have to calculate it. We know that Kb is equal to Kw over Ka. So I could calculate that fairly easily no matter what Ka is. But I've got to do that work. And now I can solve for x. So I'm going to pull my solver function over here. You can see it there. Okay. So math, zero, up, clear. So this is going to be x squared divided by 0 0.0150 divided by 0 0.150 minus x. And then that's going to be minus 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. Put that in. Very small value as a guess. I solve for it turns out that x is equal to 7.48 times 10 to the minus 6. 7.48 times 10 to the minus 6. Now, it would be nice if I was done, but remember this is not the concentration of hydronium. If I carry this up, this is the concentration of hydroxide. So I can't directly find the pH from this. What I can do is I can find the pOH. So the pOH in this case will be the negative log of x. And that will work out to be 5.13. And then the pH will be 14 minus that. So 14 minus 5.13 5 will give me 8.87. Now, in a strong, weak titration, the thing to remember is that the base is strong. So once that's the equivalence point, I'm going to end up with some amount of base left in this column. And if we look all back at the original version, that column was the moles of base that I was adding. So this column, this is the moles of NaOH that are excess. This is extra sodium hydroxide that I've added into the solution. So what we know about sodium hydroxide is it's a strong base. So what's going to happen is that this hydroxide is going to overwhelm any hydroxide that this pathetically weak base can produce, which means there's actually no work to do here. All I have to do is I can say pOH is the negative log of 0 0.0006 over 0 0.152. If I do that work, negative log 0 0.0006 divided by 0 0.152, I get 2.40. Subtract that from 14, and I get 11.60. So the pH is 
11.60. So these points beyond the equivalence point are all exactly the same and all very, very easy. I won't go through this one right now, but again, the POH is just going to be the negative log of 0 0.0075 over 0 0.175. Anything past the equivalence point is very simple. So as an overview of the entire problem, the beginning of the problem, beginning all the way through, but not including the equivalence point, it was an equilibrium problem using the acid reaction. Acid plus water makes hydronium and the conjugate base. We used the same Ka the whole way. pH changed because these starting concentrations were changing. The pH changed. At the equivalence point, I have no acid left, so I can't use the acid reaction. What I do have is conjugate base. So I use the conjugate base reaction. I had to calculate Kb, which is Kw over Ka. I did that whole work. I got X. In this case, X is the hydroxide. So the negative log of that gave me pOH. 14 minus that gave me pH. Beyond the equivalence point, I have excess strong base, in this case, sodium hydroxide. So all I have is the negative log of the molarity of the strong base. Gets me pOH. 14 minus that is pH. And that's how you do titration problems.